to my channel i hope all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there is doing well so this reading is going to be for anyone of any zodiac sign okay sun moon rise and venus it does not matter so we're going to start off with angel numbers and we're going to see what it is that spirit wants you to know so if anything resonates for you don't forget to like this video subscribe if you have not okay i want to say hello to all of my new subscribers what's up you guys and welcome to the Blue Flame family, okay? So when you hear me say BFF, I'm talking about you, baby. All right, so anything else you need to know about me will be in the description box below. All right, Holy Spirit, let's go. All right, the collective, let's go. All right, so you could be seeing zero, zero. This means that you are very observant. Angels ask for your attention right now. They need you to open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening in your life or everything that's going on around you. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay, okay? So when they tell you to do something, they need you to act right then and there. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. So you could be needing some type of inner guidance as well or, or some type of inner calmness. And, and this, what's going to bring you that inner calmness is to focus on meditation and praying about the situation. We have the number 10. You have a great, you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up great ideas, organize all the details, and then you delegate how you want everybody to do this. Okay, so what this mean, baby, is you're a natural born leader and you're a boss. Like you come up with the plays and then you're able to, you know what I'm saying, make the whole playbook, and then you out here and you delegate, delegate to each person what you need them to do and how they need to go about doing it. All right, y'all, so we're going to pull some messages from my unsent text messages, and we're going to see what's going on with the person on your mind, okay? And what would they say if you guys were to have a, a, a conversation right now through text, like, what would this person say to you, okay? So let's pull some messages here and see what's going on with the person on your mind. Messages for my collective. What is going on, Holy Spirit, with the person on my collective's mind. If they were to have a conversation, what would this person say? All right, so the first thing this person would say to you guys is how long have you known the truth? So if you were to have a conversation with this person from your past, you know, so some of you, you've already asked this person about this truth or you've already discovered, you know, that, that this person lied to you. So this person would want to know, like, well, how long have you known the truth? You know what I'm saying? How long did you know I was dealing with this third party? I had this going on? Or, you know, they just want to know, like, how long have you known the truth there? Some of you, maybe you ain't said nothing, you know? Some of you, you bad. Unsent text messages, Holy Spirit. What would my collective and this person talk about? Unsent text messages. Mm, let me take it out of them. All right. I'm learning more about spirituality, okay? So you can be a very spiritual person. And this person, you know they were not. This person could have been maybe more religious. You were more spiritual, okay? You, they didn't look at things in a spiritual way. They didn't know that you can have a better connection with source by being spiritual. But this could be someone either they're going through some type of awakening or this person could be in hermit mode. You know, they're self-reflecting um, to themselves. And while they're to themselves, spirit is teaching them more about spirituality learning how to connect and have a closer relationship with spirit and with source tell us more holy spirit unsent text messages what would this person say to my collective if they were to text right now holy spirit what would this person want to say to the collective holy spirit well now if you were in my shoes, what would you do, okay? So this person could, you know the truth, right? So this person would ask you, okay, well, if you, if you were in my shoes, collective, you know, what would you do? If you were dealing with this situation, if you had this going on, like, what, how would you handle the situation? What would you do, okay? Maybe this person feels like 
you don't understand the reasoning for the things that they did here? Or maybe they just, maybe they've tried to explain it, but you know, you guys possibly didn't get anywhere, but I just want to know, like, what would you do if you was in my shoes? We were only together because of the kids, okay? So this person may tell you, hey, I was only in this marriage. I only stayed in this marriage to deal with this person because we had kids together, okay? I only stayed in this household or, you know, did this because me and this person had kids together. Tell us more, Holly Spirit. Unsent text messages. If my collective and my person or their person was to talk right now, Holy Spirit, through text, what would this person say to the collective? I love you guys, and I hope something here has been resonating so far. Unsent text message, Holy Spirit. What would they talk about? You crazy if you thought I never wanted you. I know my actions had you confused, okay? So someone's here is actions in the past. You, it was like you didn't know. Like one minute she was like, yeah, they want me. And then the next minute, how this person would flip the script and act. You was like, well, shit, I don't know. So this person would tell you, like, shit, you crazy if you thought I never wanted you. Like, I know my actions, you know what I'm saying, didn't really prove, you know, that I wanted you. But this person, they want to let you know that they always wanted you. But they know that their actions towards you at the time had you confused. They can understand why you didn't really think that they wanted you or loved you or, you know, any of that. Okay, so someone wants to let you know they're ready to let down their guard and be vulnerable. So this could be someone who was running from their feelings and emotions. You know, they feared possibly letting down their guard. I, I really feel like this person feared rejection. But this is someone who they're now, you know, whatever they were refusing to do in the past, they're ready to let down their guard here, okay? And I feel like they want to be vulnerable with you, okay? Allow you to see their softer side because I feel like you've never seen this side of that person. So nobody want to let you know, baby, they have been keeping tabs on you, collector. So even though you have not been talking to this person, even though you may not have seen this person in a long time, they've been keeping tabs on you, baby, okay? I thought if I gave you enough time, you wouldn't be mad anymore, okay? So someone here put some space in between you guys on purpose, okay? So remember, the, the overall energy of this reading was you guys finding out some type of truth about your person, right? So someone here felt like, okay, well, if I get a collective a few months or shit, maybe a year or so, you know, after you found out some type of detrimental truth about this person, you know, they felt like, well, you wouldn't be mad. You know, maybe you'd be done forgot about the situation or you'd be done forgave them. You know what I'm saying? But they just felt like if they gave you just enough time that you wouldn't be mad anymore. Okay. So this could be the reason why someone has been like holding back or hasn't been communicating with you. Okay. I had to go see what was going on. Okay. So this person, you know what I'm saying? They tried to give you enough time so that you actually would just get over whatever it was. Okay, so this is someone who really didn't want to talk about the shit. They just felt like, okay, if I get a collective enough time, you know, they won't be mad anymore. And then we ain't got to discuss it. We can just move on the air like ain't nothing happened. You weren't delusional. I kept you confused on purpose so you would find out the truth. Okay, so this is someone definitely who... I feel like for a lot of you guys, you already asked this person, okay? Some type of truth was revealed to you about your person and the situation or this connection that you share with them, and you asked them about it. You confronted them about it, okay? And this is someone who I feel like they either lied or they didn't tell you the full truth, okay? And they feel like, okay, if I just give the collective a little time or maybe you went off because I'm, I'm getting the energy or something had to transpire once you found out the truth. I don't feel like you just asked and that was it, okay? So I feel like once whatever happened between you and this person, they was like, all right, I just get a collective time, you know? A lot of you, while you were dealing with this person, you thought you was crazy, okay? You guys, when I was dealing with my twin, thought I was crazy as hell, okay? I, could, I, I, I didn't know if this man loved me, if he did love me, he wanted me, he didn't want me, like... You know, and, and and as I'm learning now, as even me being a reader doing these readings, you know, understanding that a lot of these people made us or made us feel like we were delusional, but they really kept us confused, you know, not really understanding if they loved us, wanted to be with us, like where we stood with them, because they did want us to find out some type of truth, okay? Mainly because we were involved in third party situation, they was already involved with someone else here, okay? So they want to let you know that you were not delusional. You know what I'm saying? You was in your right damn mind. You Whatever you was feeling, your intuition was on point, okay? But this person was trying their best. They wanted to keep you 
in this energy of me and they saying confused because they didn't want you to figure out this truth here, okay? Let's get a couple of more. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. And if anything is resonating for you, don't forget to like this video. Messages for my collective. What is this person on their mind want to let them know? I'm glad you never gave up hope. Okay, so some of you, you were still holding on. You still have faith. You still have hope that you and this person are going to come together. You and this person are going to be together in this lifetime. But there's nothing wrong with that. And they're saying thank you. And they're glad that you never gave up hope. You never gave up faith. You know, on this connection that you guys share. Let's pull a couple more messages. Let me get another dig. All right, let's put a couple more messages here. Messages for my collective policy. What is it that they need to know about this person? If they were to have a conversation right now, what would this person want to say to them? Messages for my collective Holy Spirit. If they were to have a conversation with this person, what would they say? I still have hope that we will be together again. Okay, so this person still has hope. Who excuse me, you guys never gave up hope. For, so for some of you, there's a big chance that you and this person will be together again, okay? You haven't given up on this connection, and they haven't given up on this connection either, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for the collective. What do they need to know? Looking at you, looking through our conversation it makes me miss you, okay? Immensely. So someone here still got some old text, you know what I'm saying? Say they've been reviewing these messages that you used to text back in the day. And this person, they're missing, you know what I'm saying, you even more. Like reading through these old messages makes this person miss you even more here. All right, messages for my collective. So this person, like I said, has been reviewing these old text messages that you guys used to text on and off. You know what I'm saying? This is making really this person miss you even more. So they done saved them for some of you. I don't know why people be saving their messages. I be deleting them shit, so I don't know about y'all. <laughs> We are always connected, connected heart to heart, no matter the distance, okay? So some of you, you've moved possibly. Maybe this person has moved. Maybe this was a long distance connection, okay? Maybe you guys stay in different cities, different states, different countries, whatever it is, okay? But they're saying you guys will always, like no matter how far that you are apart, that you will always be connected. Like your heart will always be connected here. Messages for the collective, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to say to the collective? I got scared of my own feelings because they were too intense, okay? So we sound like we're dealing with a runner here. And this is someone who ran from this connection, okay? Because remember I said earlier, this person in the past, they didn't want to let down their guard. They didn't want to be vulnerable. They didn't want to talk about feelings and emotions or, or deal with anything that led them to feel feelings and emotions, okay? When this person started to have those feelings and emotions for you, they got scared. This is someone who I really honestly feel like had closed their heart off to love, but it was something about your energy, something about this connection that you guys shared. Like, shit, you really opened this person up. But they was like, uh-uh, I ain't supposed to be. What's that song by Deborah Cox? How did you get here? This person's like, how the fuck did the collective be, get here? Nobody's supposed to be here, okay? Because I done tried that love thing for the last time, okay? Their heart was saying no. But, but it was like their mind and everything else was telling them, like, yes, this is love. This is what you've really been wanting, okay? But they ran from true love here. All right, y'all. So let's pull from the who deck. And let's see who this reading is about. I hope something here has resonated with you guys. And if it has, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't, and don't forget to like this video. All right, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my collective, okay? It's, I'm going to go, these two jumped out of my hand. This could be about someone who has tattoos and someone who has dark brown eyes, okay? All right, messages for the collective, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my collective? I love you guys, and I really hope something here has been resonating. All right, we got age 40 to 45. This could be you or your person. Messages for the collective Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? Who is this reading about for the collective here? All right, this could be about someone who has waves. 
Who was this reading about, Holy Spirit? All right. This came out earlier. I'm going to shut for these again. Well, I'm taking them. Shit, they came out together. All right, we have small hands, small feet. And then someone who could be of like complexion. All right, y'all. So let's get the signs. And this could be about an average height male. Average height male and an average height female. I seen these together early, so we're going to take them. Average height male, average height female. All right, so let's get the signs. Let's see who this reading is about for my collective here. All right, guys. We got Aquarius, Heavy Sash, Aries. We got Libra, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius. We got Scorpio, Cancer, Sash, and Taurus. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.